Hi everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take. So today I'm going to play um, and do a video that there's been other people who've done it, but I was talking to one of you about it and you mentioned that it'd be fun to see me do it and I thought we'd do some aging of our scotch tape. Okay, now I have some, I don't have wax paper and I don't have any um, uh, acetate okay which are probably better but I'm using parchment paper and the tape is peeling right off so I would say don't leave it on here for a long time but that I think for now just you know if you're gonna move it pretty quickly which I am uh, it'll be fine so I'm just gonna tear out some strips of tape and then I have my alcohol inks which is what other people I've seen use use and I'm going to show you a couple of the ones I made the other day these came out really cool I love them and so the colors that I use that's one uh, I have a few of them over here but I'll just grab a couple one more here there's a yellowish one it's more of a let's see can you guys see yeah so it just looks like aged tape uh, here's I'll do one last one so you can kind of see okay so I really thought they were fun I stuck a piece on this let me see here if I can find it and it looks really cool against the washi tape on these little file folders we did the other day as you can see just adds some fun and looks aged and old and all that good stuff but the other thing I was thinking would be fun, and I'm just, I don't know, weird, I think it'd be cool looking, is to even use brighter, more fun colors, you know, and just kind of use them maybe in art journal, even in art journals, mixed media pages, to bring some drastic, you know, shocking color to certain parts. Or even if we wanted to do it as just like the age tape, but do it with colors. Uh, why not right so I'm gonna give it a try but first I'm gonna use my brown and the yellow ochre okay I don't know if your alcohol ink set has yellow ochre but I used the two together because the brown by itself just wasn't good and the yellow ochre by itself is really yellow which is fine but it looks pretty cool if you do the um, the two together it just kind of gives it I think it almost gives it like a a look of a um, what do you call it uh, I, my friend told me what it, it when you take pictures when we used to take pictures and we had the negatives it looked like a negative you know to me and I like that so I thought that was fun anyway I'm gonna be using some felt I tried makeup sponge I didn't like it um, I saw another lady use makeup sponge and that was fine but the reason I didn't like it is because when you touched it on there you had to come back on it again to darken it because it would go on so lightly I noticed with the felt I saw an, a couple other people use felt um, and I'm gonna try it like this guy did that I saw but I may end up doing it like I did yesterday and just folding the felt thicker because this is really thin this is the Walmart felt but anyway I'm going to go ahead and I've got my tape cut into strips and you know just shake up your alcohol ink and what I did I had to use my hot air tool okay because I just ran it up the middle okay and kind of let it spread and then tapped it on now see how dark the brown is by itself now what happens with this is for me okay on my tape and I don't know if it was my tape or what but it ran really fast so what I did was I had see watch how the yellow and the brown just kind of look cool together um, what I did because the alcohol ink does dry pretty fast is I had my air hot air tool ready and I spread it the way I wanted it okay and then I ran my really fast over it and it dries it like immediately and it doesn't let it spread and gap up quite so much as it did without it and another 
perk for that was that it makes your tape kind of crinkly, like it would be if it were old and worn out. It gives it kind of a bubble. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is if you wanted, let me grab a piece, if you want it to kind of have spots where it looks like it's been, the tape has been bent and you just hit some tape on it and it, it gives you that, that look. See what I mean? You know how tape would crack when it yellows and it would have that look like it had spots where it had come off. That's, that works to make it do that. Okay. So there's one piece. I've got all these tapes hanging up here. Okay, now, what I wanted to do was to try some color. I thought that that would be fun. Just, I don't know, just for fun. If I use them someday, I use them. If I don't, I don't. But, you know, I just, I don't know. I think it might be kind of cool to have some blue and teal and, you know, some greens and purples and pinks. You know what I'm saying. So I'm going to give it a shot. I love the dark green in this kit. I'm looking for it here. Here we go. And I'm thinking to use the dark green with the blue and see what I get. Let's see what we get. I don't know. It's going to be interesting, but I think it might be pretty to line on the side of your stuff. I don't know. It's just, oh, the green looks cool by itself actually but now the green is not separating quite as fast I see as the brown okay I need to get this ready because it's yeah. I don't know I was thinking that I might enjoy using these in my art journaling if I had some ready to just pull and uh, use in the collage, you know how I do. Um, but that dries so quick. So there's one with some blue and green. Dark blue and blue and green. It's pretty. I like it. Y'all don't have to like it, but I love it. Because I just think it's different. And I like different. I do, I do, I really do. careful when I hang these. I've got so many up here already that I'm run out of room a little bit. Let me see. I'm going to keep all the browns over that side and then I'm going to do the colored ones on this side. Okay, so let's see. Let's do... Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if the gold would do anything. There's the lemon yellow, the orange, there's violet, let's do purple. And what are we going to put the purple with? <clears throat> I have the violet purple and I have the sapphire blue. Let's give it a try, okay? Just to see. It'll be fun. Let's be adventurous. I'm trying to be adventurous and cheer myself up. You know? I am. I am. I'm trying to. I don't want to sit in the doldrums forever. There we go. And I'm just going to do this. All the way down. Get this little baby ready and then we'll spread it. And dry it. Ooh, that was fast. Oh my gosh, that one's weird. It like, it like disappeared. That's so bizarre. Let's see. <laughs> that was weird. Those colors, they just disappeared. Look at that. There we go. It's a little better. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. Yeah, those are like disappearing. They're not drying up the same way as the others. Let's try a little bit of the brown on top of the blue and purple and see what we get. I love the brown mixed in different colors, so. Very grungy, but still not quite holding up. I don't know if it's the tape, if it's maybe, I don't know what it is right now. It's 
That's weird. Because the other one's held. The other one held just fine. Maybe I'm not moving fast enough. I don't know. We shall try again. I'm cutting me a new piece of felt. Yes, your fingers will get a bit tinted with this. But oh well, right? I mean, let's just have fun. I'm going to see. I don't think my uh, my purple did very well. Okay, it's going to dry up before I even get stuff to it. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. So it was just my speed. I needed to get it on there a little bit faster, huh? I'm going to keep that on for a second while I get a little more color back into it. Maybe it's that blue. That sapphire blue is not wanting to hold. Let's try the other blue. Just to see. Because it did fine before. I am making a mess. Well, that was my cat. I'm like, what was that sound? He jumped off the seat. Well, that one looks kind of weird. Let's see. What do you guys think? I like these. I know they're different. I've never seen anybody age their tape to make it look, I don't know, kind of psychedelic. <laughs> You'll see me use them. You'll see me use them eventually, unless I get them all stuck together and can't tear them apart. There we go. Okay, I gotta get this right here. There we go. You guys can't see it, but everything's bumping into each other. There. All right, so let's try another one. What do we want to do this time, you guys? You want to do, let's do um, pink. Hmm, pink, deep pink. And, huh, let's do deep pink and orange, just to see. That should be interesting. And then maybe we'll, I don't know, decorate something with, with some of it, you know? Okay, I gotta get myself prepped here before I waste my ink. I don't wanna waste my ink. Okay, so I'm gonna do some orange first. And then I'm gonna spread and dry. I like pink and orange together. I don't know why, but I do. Do you guys like it together? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I mean, it's okay if I like it together, right? <laughs> like, I love purple and green. weird how it doesn't I mean it seems like it just doesn't want to it, it spreads and then doesn't dry right in some spots and in other spots it's fine there you go it's a little better okay there's that piece let's look at it oh that looks cool I think they look kind of fun They'll definitely add a little something something to your paper if you're looking for some grunge and color vibrant color yeah and that's what I'm gonna tell myself that's my story and I'm sticking to it if y'all hate it well don't make them <laughs> I hope you I hope you don't hate it but if you do don't make it okay I'm gonna do purple uh, let's see here what do I have I have the violet. Do I have a different purple in here, or is it just that? You know, I have purple, purple. There we go. I am going to do purple with green, because I just said how much I love those two together. But I think I'm going to use this lighter. What other greens do I? Oh, here we go. I'm going to use this green. And what's this one? Lemon green. 
And I have lime green, green, and dark green. This kit has a lot of greens, huh? Okay, and I'm going to grab, <clears throat> cut me another piece of the felt. I feel like I'm kind of clumsy with this and a little awkward, but mine didn't, I don't know if it's my ink compared to what other people were using, but their ink did not, my ink literally disappeared. Um, and I had to dry mine. They didn't have to dry theirs with the dryer. The air just dried it. And I think it's just the ink itself. I do. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Let's see, did I? I put back the wrong one, didn't I? Let's see. Where is it? Sorry, I have misplaced the green. I had right in front of me. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, okay, let's do this. I'm going to try it this way and see if it works for me. Okay. See, he was doing it like that. He was just going like this. But if I do that, it dries so fast that I was losing. There we go. That's a little better. I kind of think it might be the various inks in the dye that's in the ink because some of them are working really good and others aren't. Okay. Oh, I like. Let's try some dark green in there and see if that brings in a, a variation a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Let me see. And then I'm going to do just a little bit more on the purple. It dries super quick with that heat gun. Oh, that looks, look at that. That looks really cool, you guys. I think. I like it. That's going to look real pretty on something. I'm not sure what yet, but I don't know. When I was doing this yesterday, I was like, why couldn't we just do a bunch of colors, you know, and just have some, oh my gosh, look at my hands. Look at them. Look at them. Um... But yeah, I was I was just thinking it'd be fun, you know, to try some different colors and just have some fun with this. Now I'm like, okay, how am I going to use my scotch tape strips? You know? So let's do some red and brown because I always love red and brown together. Let's give that a try. And then, ooh, and dark blue and brown. Oh, wait, let's do dark blue and brown first. Okay, let's try blue and brown, because that's my favorite. Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, for me, I think it works better to have that heat tool ready right there, because otherwise, it dries and they spread and it just looks like it's not even on the tape. Now, we'll bring some brown into the mix and have a play with bruising this tape. Oh, nice and grungy. With the lovely addition of color. <laughs> Let's see. 
Bring some blue back in. Totally grungy. Let me see. Okay. There's the blue brown. You get some really cool effects. And this will just, I'll probably just use this as like an accent, you know, on stuff. Um, just to have as a background or bring some color to the background of something, you know. Now I do want to do some red and brown. And then we will, I don't know, grab a piece of something and play for a minute with it. This will be this will be a quick video. I just wanted to come on, have a little fun. It's uh, I think this was going to go up on Friday, um, and I needed to just not have a lot to think about, you know. Just do it. Just have some a good time. Let's see. All right, get this ready. Loud noise again. Sorry, girls. I'm going to go directly on there again like I did before, pat it out. I think I like it directly onto this better. So, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. Oh, yeah, the red, like, totally vanished. Watch. It's almost disappearing before I can even dry it. Whoa, look at that. I have to literally dry it right away as it's on there. Otherwise, it's gone. Oh, that is so weird. Look at that. Yeah, that it just wants to vanish. That's got to be something to do with the dyes in the ink. It's got to be. Okay. I wonder if the regular red, that's the dark red. I wonder if the regular red would do the same thing. Yeah, I'm having to like do it and dry as I go. It's crazy. It does not want to stay on there. It's a very cool color though. Maybe if I just go right on it. I don't know. That is so weird. It's just on the tape. It's, it's fine on the paper. It just rolls around. Because it's not a porous surface, you know. Okay. Here comes some brown. Ooh, it's giving it a kind of a cool bronzy, almost a blood look, you guys. I can see it from the side. Can you guys see it? It's like the brown gave it kind of a, look at that. Kind of a bronzy, brownish, gold look. That's weird. Okay. Let's see. That one was tough to do. It looks cool, but yeah, it looks very cool, actually. It is. It's like a gold. And that makes me curious as to what the gold would do. Now, I know the gold is different. It kind of moves in a different way, you know, because it's a metal. And <clears throat> I'm curious. Oh, where is the gold? Where is it? Where is it? Ooh, I have black, too. Could try some black with some color. I'm getting crazy here. Okay. Let's do some black and gold and see what it does. Just for fun. Let's see. Okay. Get a new piece of felt. This green piece will be dead here soon. My fingers are totally stained. That's so funny. Okay. All right. Okay. I have no idea what the black will do. I didn't even try it. So. Oh, it doesn't want to. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was on the paper. Never mind. <laughs> but it's still being argumentative. 
Yeah. Huh. Let's see if I can spread it out and then dry it. Maybe. No, it's separating. I don't use the black a lot in anything, so I'm not too worried about how much of it I use. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, we got a little bit of a... It's almost a green. Okay, you guys. We're going to try the gold on there. Okay. Ooh, it's marbling just like it does. Look at that. Oh, very cool. Huh. It marbles. It takes the gold a minute to actually dry. I'm wondering if I added, I don't know, maybe some blue. That is actually not not bad. Kind of weird, kind of weird, but it gives me a pretty cool effect. And when it's cut down into strips and just used as little bits and bobs here and there, it's kind of fun. Not the best one, but at least we know the black does not like it. Does not like to play on the tape. The gold is, you know, pretty much acts like it does with paper. Huh. Yep, I gotta do another one. Sorry. Um, I wanna put some of this dark green. And then some of the gold. Spread that back and forth while I dry it. <laughs> All right, now one last little bit of gold just for fun. From the side, I can't really see how good it looks or how bad. <laughs> how does it look from up here? I gotta look up from up here. It's pretty cool. I like it. Okay. So, we made a bunch of colors. Yay. And I have a huge mess on my hands to clean up, but it was totally worth it. And uh, I'm just going to get these lids on really quick. And I'm trying to think of something that we can decorate with that would show these at their best advantage. Um, 
You know, the tapey ones, the ones that look like old age tape, those are going to work with anything, you know, that's old, grungy pictures, especially like if we did, um, let's say, let me see here, I have some right here. Like, if we did, like, I love this picture, and say I wanted to put her onto, what would I put her on? Let me see. Hmm. And I'm just grabbing some stuff on my desk here, so bear with me for a second. I want to pick, you know, the right thing, at least something that would remotely complement her. I don't think I have anything in this particular bag, so I'm going to go over here to this bag and see. And I could use an old book page and do something like that. I was thinking more of like an old advert, you know. Kind of matches the background of her. And then do a little bit of, I'm going to add a little strip of bolt of the. Uh, glue down here just to make sure she's on there good I'm not just relying on that tape because you know it's for show it's not to hold her down okay let's see oh <laughs> it's the wrong one anyway <laughs> Could have you know edged her a little bit, darkened her around the corner edges here. But let's see here. We'll add. I'm looking really quick at some words in this drawer here because I want to find something that. Kind of suits her spirit. She is a spirited young lady, so. And in fact, I think I'm going to tear this down. Because for this particular, I'm not too crazy about that border, so. is just an example of what we could do with this just so you can see the tape at work by itself you know <clears throat> oh dang it I keep hitting that cord almost knocking everything down so clumsy you guys anyway not a secret right we all know that but yeah so there's that and then oh and then we could add a little bling to the edges of course and give it a little gold so that she's got some fancy schmancy and that tape just kind of, just, I don't know, it just looks cool, you know? It's just got that look. So there we go. There's that one. 
just for fun, let's try one of the pieces with, hmm, let's do something a little more colorful. Oh, she's pretty. Um, let me see. See if I have something that I can grab really quick for this. No, that's too fancy. I don't want something like that. She almost looks like the same girl in that picture. <laughs> but the blues are a little off. I don't want to use that either. Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty. And you don't have to tear the pictures, of course. I'm just doing it because it's kind of my thing. I love doing that. And I just wanted to make her smaller. thinking this time I'm gonna put the glue down first and not try to do the tape okay and I just want to kind of use that blue to bring some highlight around her for fun that we made this one here or do we want to use that first the other one here we've got this one as well which one either one would go kind of cool with her but I think I want to use this one because it will grunge this picture and the background that she's with look kind of fancy and I want to use a piece of this grungy tape to just kind of take away from that. <laughs> oh, I'm sticking to everything. You guys, thank you for bearing with me. I'm, I know I'm discombobulated more than usual. I apologize, guys. Do I need more on here or just that one piece? Yeah, I'm just going to do the one piece. I'll use that one later for something else. And I bumped the phone, I'm sorry. Let's see. I think I'm going to put this right here. Yeah, there we go. Just as a color, you know, just to bring a little snappy color to the corner. I know this is different, and I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. Mostly, I was thinking of using these for, like, art pages and stuff. But for right now, I'm just playing. But I, I actually think that when I walk away and come back to it later, I'll like it. So I'm not going to change it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with it. So Also, um, yeah, like this one, the more I look at it, the more I like it. And these guys, let's see. She can have, oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. These butterflies are calling to me. They're saying, put us on there, please. We're just laying in the drawer, doing nothing. Give us a purpose. Yes, inanimate objects do speak to me like that. Now they have a purpose. All right. <laughs> I was looking in here because I want a, a good word or phrase. Let's see. I 
Again, this is getting torn down, of course. What time is it? Oh, we still have a lot of time. Those were pretty quick, actually. She's going to be our inspire. And then where's my gold? I'm going to do some gold around this real quick. Okay, where do we want this? To? I kind of don't want it to cover that flower. I think I'm gonna put it right here. I'm liking the little bit of collage effect on top of the tapes, you know. They're mostly there just to draw the eye for color. I mean, they're just bouncing color off of everything else is how I see them and bringing a little shimmer like because they shine in the light so they have a different effect this is very matted this is kind of normal you know so there we go there's two little cards one with colored tape the other with brown regular age tape so that is our fun for today I hope you guys enjoyed doing the tape and that you try it out and make your own style of it if you like the lighter yellow, just use the yellow or yellow ochre. If you like it with the darker look like I do, use the brown mixed with the yellow. And then if you enjoy the color, go to town. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being with me today. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.